Good morning! Look who's here! How you doing, sweetie? Awesome. She got a breakfast sandwich from Chick-fil-A this morning, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Guys, this is it. This is it. And uh, I thought I was going to have like a half hour's worth of work to do here. Not even. Not even. Let me show you. This is it right here. I mean, I can barely see them, but they want them blown. I'm going to blow them and get them out to the curb over here. And man, we have got a good video for you today. Woo! Windy. But uh, it's over after today, guys. We're shutting down the season. I have to give thanks to the Lord because what a blessing this year was. Met so many new people on YouTube. Met some really good friends. Uh, work was great. We made, we, we did very well financially. It, it's just a blessing, man. I, I don't even know what to say. Channel is growing. Guys, I got to thank all of you for all the new subscribers. I mean, our channel is less than 1,260 away from 10,000. Can you believe that? I mean, I don't know if I'll ever get there, but I cannot believe we're this close and uh got a bunch of stuff to talk about today i'm going to tell you what i talked to the owner of tap cap now i'm going to put their website up here what is the tap cap it's the little cap that fits on the end of your trimmer head you best thing to do is put a little bit of super glue on there peel the back off stick it on there and that thing is going to save you from replacing caps on the end of your trimmer and I'll show you what I mean most of you guys know but for those who don't uh, this thing right here it's gonna save that bottom piece now what he's doing is now offering free shipping you have to buy two or you can buy four or you can buy a dozen look guys he's a small business owner and he's really trying to get this thing off the ground. I, I personally would really appreciate if all of you guys who are in lawn care that watch my channel go over and grab his stuff, man. It's inexpensive. I mean, for four caps, you're looking at 25 bucks, okay? If you can't afford $25, you probably are sitting in your grandma's basement right now watching this video giving me a thumbs down. Anyway, let's get to work. Plenty to talk about. Great topic today, man. This one's coming to you from Tom Doby Mower Repair. And if you enjoy watching a guy make a living fixing mowers, I'm going to put his link up here too. Great guy. Anyway, let's get this done. We'll talk to Miss Sarah. I'll see you soon, guys. Hey, and another thing. Thank the Lord for a beautiful day, man. What a beautiful day to be the last day.
Okay guys, that was big leaf job. Took all of about 10 minutes. But, hey, they wanted it off the grass, I got it off the grass, right? Anyway, I want to talk about, real quick, if you guys have <clears throat> ideas of getting gifts for people, why not buy them a nice set of Toros, bro? You know what I mean? They're nice. Get them a set of Toros. I will leave, I'll put the link up top with the code. You get 10 bucks off. Guaranteed for life. Okay? Guaranteed for life. So what I got to do now is wrap that little statue up with all that stuff they left there for me. And uh, I'll be back with you guys. Oh, real quick. This is what this looks like after Dalen and I did the leaf cleanup on it. Can you believe that? I will try to leave a video up here somewhere of when we did this one because it was insane. So, be right back. Okay, there it is. Wrapped up, ready for the winter time. And now we're going to get into the meat of the video, guys. I was talking to a buddy yesterday and he said, you know, the one thing I hate is when I am doing a job and I've always got somebody looking over my shoulder and I know exactly what he was talking about. Have you ever had a customer that will micromanage what you do? They hire you to do the job. Okay, and then as soon as you start the job, they're out there, well, I do it this way. Well, I do it that way. Uh, what are you doing there? Why are you doing this? Okay, and I'm okay with people asking questions to a point, but when that time comes, when it's affecting my ability to get that job done in a timely manner that's when I draw the line have you ever walked off of a job because the person just will not stop micromanaging you and I have had to tell people I have had to actually get up off the ground and say you know what I can't do this anymore. I'm not the right guy for you. And I'm going to let you go ahead and find somebody else right in the middle of a job. Now, I haven't gotten too far into the job, but I have had to walk off of jobs and just say, you know what, this is not the right fit for me. You have to make sure that these customers are the right fit for you. As, as your personality goes, as your work ethic goes, you have to make sure they are the right fit because not everybody is a good fit for everybody else. See, I come to my customers' homes. I do what I need to do. If they want something else done, they come out and tell me. We talk for a minute and I move on. So this is what the property looks like after I'm done for the season. Everything trimmed up nicely, leaves cleaned out, for the most part. I mean, I'm not nitpicking with 10 or 12 leaves in the yard. But my buddy said, you know, I noticed he, he was having something done at his house, and he said, I noticed that I just don't want to be over the guy's shoulder. And I, I'm telling you, man, that's the worst thing when you are trying to complete a job Think about when the plumber comes out or the electrician and you're sitting there and you're like, well, do you need this? Do you need, he knows what he needs. He doesn't need us in his space while he's trying to get work done. So have you ever had that? And I have, man, I have had to walk off jobs and tell people, you know what? I think it's best if you find someone else. And that's exactly how I say it. I, I'm not rude with them. But I certainly get it across that I'm not the guy. And I've had people say, well, what do you, you know, why are you leaving? And I'm like, because I don't need you 
the banker out here telling me how to do landscaping. I don't go to the banker's office and tell him how to decide if somebody gets a loan or not, okay? I don't go to the doctor's office and have somebody cough for me and tell them what I think's wrong with them. I'm not trained for that. And doctors, lawyers, and other people are not trained for what we're doing. So sometimes people need to stay in their lane, but they don't know how to do that. And we have to guide them there. But uh, guys, whoo, man, that's it. It's done. I can't believe it. A successful 2023. Let's see if Miss Sarah has any advice to give to you out there. Honey, any advice for the folks as we wrap up 2023? Um, just keep moving and keep growing your roast beef crop. <laughs> All right, there it is, guys. Uh, I know it was deep. I know it was meaningful, but it is what it is. So, uh, we're going to have plenty more videos. If you guys would like to see something, let me know. Um, who knows what we're going to get into. It's not going to be lawn care for the most part. So, if that's what you're looking for, Doc doesn't work in the winter time. Let me tell you, Doc sits on his keister at the gym. And, no, I'm not a muscle head, but I, at 52, I like to keep myself in shape. I'd like to uh, go back on my diet somewhat and uh well kind of share my diet with you guys as some of you who have been watching a long time know i lost 50 pounds last year now i've put about 10 or 12 of that back on but uh gonna be going to the gym doing my thing and uh we're gonna take you guys and show you the bad boys next week but man i can't thank you enough for all the channel growth and all of you who are in this family. I, I, I've said it once, I'll say it a hundred times. I have the best YouTube followers, family, friends, supporters of any channel out there because you guys are real. I don't have to worry about unsubscribing and uh, oh, I made somebody mad because I hurt their feelings. When you're real, man, you know what you're gonna get out of the guy. You know what you're going to get from the channel. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this last little cleanup. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. And uh, Sarah Cuda was here as well. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.